lesbians, perhaps, who <laughs> were fighting. They got up on the stage, they wrecked the equipment, they were fighting the Texas Jew boys. And they were winning. <laughs> so the police were called, and the yeah. campus police gave us an escort off the campus. And later that year, I received the Male Chauvinist Pig of the Year Award <laughs> from the National Organization for Women. An award I'm still very proud of. <laughs> You uppity women, I don't understand why you gotta go and try to act like a man. But before you make your weekly visit to the shrink, you better occupy the kitchen. The occupy? I was way ahead of my time. Liberate the sink. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. That's what I to my baby said. Once liberation, it's gone to your head. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. <laughs> Early every morning, you're out on the streets, passing out the pamphlets to everyone you meet. You gave up your maiden form for Lent. Now the front of your dress has an air scoop vent. A single great man who's ever come along had a little woman always telling him he's wrong. Eve said, Adam, here's an apple you hot. And Delilah defoliated and Samson's box. Get your biscuits in the oven and your bodies in the bed. 
bed. That's what I to my baby said. Woman's liberation is only ahead. Get your biscuits in the oven and your bun in the bed. Me and mine that harpies are breaking all the laws, tearing up the girls and a burning up the bras. Now the air is dirty and the sex is clean. And your coffee makes my hair turn green. So damn emancipated in your mind and your body, am I gonna have to cancel all your lessons in karate? If you can't love a male chauvinist, you better cross me off of your shopping list. That's what I to my baby said. Woman's liberation is the only end. Get your old biscuits in the oven and your mind in the bed.